Hey guys, Ellen and I are here in our playroom today and we want to show you how to create a mystery bag in your own home, which is part of our sensorial material in our primary classrooms. So what you're going to need is a drawstring bag and we just happen to have a drawstring bag at our house. If you don't have a drawstring bag, a regular bag will do just fine, just as long as you can close the top of it. The next thing that you'll need to do is um, collect some common household items that your child will be able to identify through the sound of touch. So we have, it's okay, we have a funnel. What else? A spoon. a spoon. This is a block, but we're calling it a cube for today. Whoops, sorry. Okay, next, a rock, a cotton ball. Whoops. It's not. And a, a clothespin. That's right. Okay, here we go. Let's see. I think I feel a spoon. It's a spoon. Okay, your turn. I think I feel a... What do you have in there? <laughs> what is it? Try to only get one thing, remember? Yes. One thing at a time. What do you feel? I feel a rock. You feel a rock? <gasps> a piece of Oh, she's rock. got a tiny piece of cotton stuck on the rock. But she got a rock. All right, let's put it on the table. What else can you find in there? Remember not to look. <laughs> Only feel with your hands. Okay. What do you feel? I think I feel a, a, a funnel. A funnel. It almost is like a cone though, isn't it? You found a funnel. All right, let's see. Okay, what else is in there? What do you feel next? It's a cube. A cube, let's see. It is a cube. Okay, put it on the table. I think there's one more thing in there. One. One more thing. I feel a cotton ball. You feel a cotton ball? Oh, it is a cotton ball. And up. Is there something else in there? Oh, one more thing. No. One more. No, there's not. There's not? Oh, I didn't feel it. <laughs> there is a... Cup. A cup. Could it be a clothespin? A clothespin. Oh, it's a clothespin. Okay. And so a way that you can extend this for a reading and writing experience for your older children would be to write labels and have them read them and then label the items. So let's see. Ellen? First you read it, then it'll be your turn, okay? Cotton. Cotton. Cotton, okay? Can you put it with the cotton? Okay. And now she's gonna make her own label. Oh, <laughs> we've done this a couple of times, so she's got several labels already. Okay. Spoon, okay. So she's made the label spoon. spoon. So we're gonna put that with the spoon. spoon. That's right. So you can store these labels right next to your mystery bag on the shelf that you're beginning to acquire of materials uh -huh. at your home. She's She's been writing away today. Um, and then your child can, your older child can choose to get the labels out anytime that they want to and label the items that are inside of the bag or, um, or it can be a writing experience where yeah. your child can write labels for the items that are in this bag or even label things around the house. Um, just, to, just another idea of extending writing um, throughout your house. Um, we just use...
plain slips of white paper. Um, you could use notebook paper or you could even draw lines so that your child will have a, 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 a reference for writing um, on the paper. Um, but any way that you can improvise will be just fine. Thanks, guys. Um, we miss you, and we'll see you again soon. Okay? Bye. Bye. Bye.